Hello everyone, I'm Crow77, and today we're taking a look at early discards and the order that terminals and honors are discarded. One quick disclaimer before I start, this is a fairly widely contested topic. Most of this video is a guide on the basics, and then some ideas about what you should think about when you go to break those basic rules. I won't claim that this method's 100% correct, but I hope to give you some more things to think about during those early game discards. So with that, let's begin. In my reviews of games from fairly high-level players, I find that there's a good bit of discrepancy, even in the earliest discards of a hand. While the difference between discarding a seat wind and a round wind may seem small, the difference does exist, and so it's something that we, as players looking to improve, should take a look at. The good news is the basics are easy to optimize with simple rules, but as always, the complexity is knowing when we should break them. So let's take a look at the basic system. I've separated it into two slides. The first one's for when you're sitting in the same position as the round wind. That is, east position in the east round or south position in the south round. So first of all, we want to take care of the guest winds. These are winds that don't have value as the Yakuhai in your hand. As east in the east round, that would be the northwest and south winds. Since they can't make runs and aren't worth more points, they're generally good ones to drop first. Next up is isolated terminal tiles. These tiles can make runs, but they're generally difficult enough to use that it's worth holding on to single Yakuhai instead of them. Note that these must be isolated to be a candidate for the discard here. A shape like 1-3 peen is not something you want to discard the one from early on. Next up are the dragons. There's no specific order these need to be discarded in. Generally, you should pick one at random. If you want to get technical, there is a minuscule edge from killing off the green dragon first because of the Ryu Iso Yakuman. Of course, that's assuming that you're not planning on going for it. But that is about as marginal as it gets, and you probably lose more from becoming predictable if you play with the same opponents quite frequently. Lastly is the double wind. East in the east round, east position, south in the south round, south position. Reasoning for this is pretty clear. Being worth two Yakuhai just makes sense to have it be held on longer. Now there's three caveats with this outline. First of all, don't discard anything you have a pair of. Even if it's a guest wind, these can still easily be useful later on in the round and shouldn't be discarded early. Secondly, the honor discards can be reprioritized if another player discards one of them. So if another player discards the East Wind, it may make sense to prioritize discarding your own, since it'll be a lot harder to use with some of them dead. Lastly, certain Yaku make this list moot. If you're going for a Honitsu or a Chanta hand, for example, the honor should not be cut early. Now, when you're not sitting in one of the double win position, the chart doesn't change too much. Let's take a look. There's two major differences here. The first is that the double win moves up in priority for discards. This is because you want to kill it off before whoever has the double wind can draw a pair of them. Since it holds the most value for other players' hands instead of our own, we want to cut it before the other value Yakuhai, such as dragons. Secondly, we discard our own wind last. This is because holding onto it longer is a lower impact if someone else draws a pair of them, but it has the same impact if we draw our own pair. It's worth more for you to hold onto it than it would be for other people to do so. And of course, the same exceptions apply as the previous example. But as I mentioned, there's quite a few complications and exceptions to this order once you have a bit of experience. What do those look like? In general, as you move towards more advanced play, the previous slides won't necessarily be wrong, but would probably be considered aggressive in most cases. In reality, many hands may not even want a Yakuhai in them. Things like Pinfu, Tanyao, and Reach can be much more appealing than a simple open Yakuhai. In these cases, it'll often make sense to discard the more live-valued honor first, so for example, if you have one of each dragon in your hand, and the red and green have already been discarded, you could discard the white, ensuring people don't have as much time to draw the pair that they need to subsequently call and make a quick hand. In addition, keeping terminals over honors can see speed up your hand as well. Lone terminals are generally a little bit more efficient than lone honor tiles, so you will on average complete your hand just slightly faster. You lose the easy potential of opening on a dragon, but instead you can keep your hand concealed and have a couple more potential options open. Thinking forward in this case can be beneficial as well. Does your hand even want to attack with all 13 tiles? If the red and green dragon have already been discarded once, it may only be a minor efficiency loss to save one of those tiles as a safe tile for later on, especially as other players discard theirs. This save or safe tile can be both aggressive and defensive. Defensive if you need a safe tile to start off the Ipatsu turn of an opponent's reach, or aggressive if you want to push into that reach and it simply buys you some turns where you have a safe tile and you can keep progressing your hand after the reach is declared. Next up is the order of guest win discards. 
One thing I often ask people is what guest win they would discard first. The answers are pretty diverse overall. Some people say the wind of the player to your left, so you can skip the most people's turns. Some people say the wind of the player to your right, to make it less likely that your turn is skipped. Some people target the wind of the player that they think is most likely to want to make a quick hand to kill off a possible Yaku for them. And still others discard the wind of the player that they least want to win the hand for the same reason. Personally, I don't buy into the first two as much as the next two. When I do use one of them, I tend to discard the wind of the player to my right. No one likes having their turn skipped. Usually, though, I will err on the side of having the lapse option here, killing the wind of the player that I don't want to win. This is usually score-based, but since I often play with friends or people that I know fairly well, I will often go for the player that I perceive to be the strongest. All this is very marginal, and truthfully, I don't have the statistics that I would need to back up one or another as a better strategy. But there is an advantage to be gained, so I think the best thing to do is think through these and take the route that makes the most sense to you. Lastly, there are some further Yaku that should be considered when looking at Terminal and Honor discards. Chanta and Tonitsu are the pretty obvious ones, and although it's somewhat uncommon, if you have a fairly advanced Pinfu hand early on, but don't yet have a pair, holding onto a Guest Wind over a Dragon or a Seat Wind can make a lot of sense, simply because they can be used as a pair for Pinfu. Similarly, with an advanced Chitoitsu hand, it's often better to get rid of central tiles before terminals or honors of any kind, but this would need to be about four pairs with no other real options, or five pairs before I made this kind of consideration. Overall, you just really need to react to what your hand needs, and make sure that you evaluate these early terminals and or honors depending on what Yaku you have. So, in conclusion, it's most important to understand all the interactions of each type of tile, and be able to evaluate your hand based on its needs and strengths and weaknesses of each tile. The worst thing you can do is discard without thinking, so even for these early discards that may seem obvious, make sure you take the time to understand what path your hand will most likely go down before you make a discard. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any feedback, topic ideas, or issues, please let me know. If you want notifications of when I post a new video, hit the subscribe button. Have a good one.